Hey everybody, uh, so this is part two of how to use the email verification stack uh, with Ada Stacks. In the part one, we set up the actual email verification uh, custom action itself. Um, and in this video, uh, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about how to set up your screens and kind of the best way to make that happen. Um, and actually, this is the exact same way that, that uh, Ada Stacks works as well. Um, so uh, it's, it's a fairly straightforward process. It's pretty easy to do. Um, uh, it really just requires basically two additional screens other than what we have here. Um, the first one that I'm going to add is uh, s seemingly kind of unorthodox. Um, but uh, we're just, I'm going to add a blank screen here. And you'll see why in just a second. But I'm going to call this the redirect. Um, screen here and I'm going to zoom out using control and then the minus button or the command and the minus button if you're on a Mac um, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this uh, redirect screen the home screen um, and you'll see why in just a second all right um, so uh, let me go ahead and just check this action here that we that we set up in the last video. So I've still got my send uh, verification code email. Um, I'm actually going to put this on a separate screen, to be honest. Uh, I kind of just added it here in the previous video just to have something to add it to. Um, but I'm actually going to delete this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, in the user's collection, I'm going to create a number field here for their verification code. Okay, and when the user signs up, what I'm going to do is click on this form, and in these fields here, I'm actually going to set that fee that verification code automatically. Okay, um, and I'm going to make this just a random number, but you can generate this however you want, really. Um, I think this method works the best. I'm going to go to functions here, and then go to rand, and what this is going to do is it's going to generate a random number in between a minimum number and a maximum number that I give it. Okay, um, And if you want your random number to be a specific number of digits every single time, we need to include that many number of digits. So let's say that I want my verification code that's sent to them to be six digits. right? Um, but I don't want it to start with zero. right? Uh, I don't want to just put in six zeros here because then someone may get, you know, zero, 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 four or something like that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in uh, one uh, and then five zeros. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I don't want it to go up to, um, you know, what is that, min millions or tens of millions. Um, so I'm actually going to put in six nines here, okay? One, two, three, four, five six. All right. Um, so I've got six digits here. One, two, three. Yep. And six nines here. All right. So it's going to generate a number somewhere between these two. This is the low end, this being the high end. All right. Okay. So it's setting that automatically for the logged in user when they sign up. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I actually want to uh, send the user to a screen to another screen here um, that's going to ask them to put in their verification code. All right. And you can call this again whatever you want here. Um, again, I'm going to zoom out and then kind of use the arrow keys here to pan over and just drag this screen over here somewhere. All right. And basically, um, I'm going to link have them have this uh, sign up form send them to that new screen at, right after they sign up. Okay, so instead of linking to home, I'm just going to link them to the verification code entry screen. All right, cool. So uh, on this screen, we're going to add something called a screen action, which is which happens anytime the user uh, just lands on this screen. Right, they don't even have to do anything. All they have to do is land on it. Um, so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to use that custom action that we made, right, um, to send a verification code email. 
Um, and again, here, this is where I will need my um, AdaStacks API key. Um, so uh, I can't remember what mine is, but I'm just going to type in some stuff there for now. Um, the email subject, right? Maybe I would want to want this to say like, please verify your email. Um, the from email, remember this needs to be one that you have verified with AdaStax or else AdaStax can't send that email on your behalf. So, and again, it cannot be a, um, a Gmail or Yahoo or anything like that. It needs to be a domain that you own, okay? The to email, right, this is probably going to be the logged in user's email. The website URL, this is going to be your logo URL. Um, you know, you would you would put in you know HTTP, HTTPS, whatever, wherever your uh, that image of your uh, for your your logo is held, right? And maybe this is an Adalo link, right? Maybe this is a link to an image in your Adalo collection. Um, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the company URL. This is the logo storage URL. Sorry about that. So this would be like your website, right? So adastacks.com, and then this would be your image uh, storage URL. My goodness, don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so the greeting here is, uh, this would be like, um, welcome. Uh, you know, you can even put in dynamic text here. Welcome, full name, right? Uh, please use the code below to verify your email. Enter the code in the app, please. Right, you can phrase that however you want. All right, so the code, this is where this comes in. So we're gonna send the logged in users verification code, right? Um, so we're gonna send that code that we just made in the signup form, we're gonna send that code to them in the email, all right? And optional instructions, you can include this if you want to, you don't have to, um, but these optional instructions are basically just, um, you know, uh, if you need assistance, please visit our help docs. Cool. Um, salutation would be like, thanks. Um, Patrick Ford, or you can say like, uh, your friends at, you know, your app name, right? The company name, this would just be your app. Company tagline, this is, you know, your motto, your slogan, whatever, okay? So we'll click done there. All right, so it's going to send the notification email, right? Um, and then on this screen, what we want to have is a an actual text input here. Um, and this text input is going to be uh, where they are going to enter the, um, the verification code, right? So what we're going to do is um, if you have it set as a number, right, it's sending like numbers, just numbers, you can set it to a number. Um, but a lot of times it's just best to keep it as normal. Um, and that works just fine, all right? And you can make this look however you want. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually add a button here to this screen. And we're going to make this button say, uh, verify, all right? We'll just remove that. And we're gonna make this button uh, have conditional visibility, right? Me just meaning that uh, sometimes it's visible, sometimes it's not. All right, so we're gonna to go to change visibility here. We're gonna make this sometimes visible only if the logged in user's verification code is equal to whatever they put into this input, right? So we'll just go to uh, form inputs and then input is actually what that is right there, okay? Um, so this button's only gonna be visible if, um, you know, whatever they put in here matches what's in the their their record okay um, so once they verify it we probably want to have a true false field over here right to tell us whether or not they are a verified user right um, so when they click on this button we are going to 
update uh, the logged in user and we are going to make it so that are they a verified user now yes they are they are a verified user now okay and after that then we can link them to the home screen all right or actually what we want to do is probably link them to uh, this redirect here and I'll explain this here in just a second all right so what this redirect does is this redirect uh, acts as kind of a go-between to uh, or a router I guess you could say um, to determine where a user needs to be sent to based on if they're verified or not right because if they're not a verified user maybe you don't want them getting as far as the home screen right maybe you don't want them to have access to that just yet um, so what we can do is we can actually have another screen here um, that says um, you know uh, we can call this maybe not verified not verified yet and let me just zoom out here pull this over here and let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see um, so maybe we would want to have some text here that says um, you know uh, it looks like you haven't uh, haven't verified your email yet right and then what you could do is even provide a button here right called like resend verification or resend the email right and this the action that's on this button is basically just the exact same one that we have on this screen over here right to actually send the verification email um, this is the exact same action here okay um, but what's unique about this is on this redirect here what we want to do is again use these screen actions to immediately link the user to you know route them to these screens based on certain criteria so uh, we want to link them to the home screen but we only want to do it if so we're going to make this sometimes in this show advanced section here we only want to link them to the home screen if the logged in user verified user is true right so we only want to send them there if they are a verified user um, alternatively we want to link them to the not verified yet screen uh, under show advanced here we want to do this sometimes and only if the logged in user verif verified user is false right if they're not a verified user we want to send them to this screen to let them know hey check your email we sent you an email uh, make sure that you verify your your email address right and then after they resend it you may want to send them back over to this screen so that they can actually verify their email address right all right I think that pretty much covers it um, uh, another quick tip here um, on transfer on moving the user from one of these screens to the redirect screen is that it's usually helpful to um, instead of having these transitions here just click none that way they don't realize that there's a, a blank screen here right that's kind of routing them all right um, and kind of same thing with these as well with these actions let's just make these no transition here all right and that's just a that's just from a user experience uh, perspective it just looks much better when it transitions all right all right so that is the completed kind of basic very basic setup of how you would create verification codes so that people can verify their email addresses when they start using your app